Hello everybody and welcome to the first video here on The Shape. So this year, 2022, uh, Halloween Ends came out. Uh, so uh, as far as the movie itself goes, I'm not really going to get into that too much. Um, I do love the look of Michael, uh, as you can see here by the new mask. Uh, the, I don't know, just the way they portrayed Michael in the movie. Um, he was like weak and I guess he was dying. Uh, I don't know, but uh, I don't know. I just, it, the movie really wasn't about Michael. It kind of focused more on Corey uh, and Lori, you know, uh, when really it should have focused more on Lori and Michael. But anyway, we're not gonna get into that. Um, we'll save that for a completely different video. Today, uh, we're gonna be discussing the costume for Halloween Ends because I decided since uh, Michael, you know, Halloween Ends came out that I was gonna do uh, Michael this year. Uh, I've done Michael before. Uh, my favorite version of Michael was uh, Dick Warlock's version from Halloween 2. So I, I did a Halloween 2 version a couple of years ago. Uh, it got really good reviews. Um, I never did a video as far as uh, how I did it and everything, but I say it got good reviews. What I mean by that is, uh, you know, uh, when I was out walking around as Michael Myers, you know, it, it was very popular. People wanted to stop, take pictures with me, stuff like that. Um, so this year we're going to do the same thing. Uh, and I'm going to kind of walk you guys through my process of putting this costume together. Uh, first, let me say that it, this is not going to be 100% screen accurate due to the fact that the coveralls uh, that are used in Halloween, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends are Workrite coveralls, and they are discontinued. There is a company out there that are making replicas, uh, but I decided, you know what, um, I'm not going to spend 130 something dollars, 140, 150, whatever they're going for, just to turn around and pretty much tear them up. You know what I mean? So uh, I went with the red caps. Um, now you can also, uh, go with, um, uh, Trick or Treat Studios. They make the coveralls. Uh, however, they're, they're not accurate either. Uh, perfect example of that is, uh, the coveralls are actually a charcoal gray, uh, which is what these red caps here are. And the, um, the ones that Trick or Treat Studios are selling are navy blue. Uh, so... I mean, pick and choose, whatever you want to do. Uh, they they look nice. Uh, they're just the wrong color. And I know a lot of people are rehauling them to make them look more accurate. But I decided, you know what? These coveralls here are 30 something bucks. They look the part. Uh, so we're just gonna go with those. Uh, I use these same coveralls. Well, not these exact ones, but the same brand, the red caps and everything for my uh, Halloween 2. Uh, the only difference was the Halloween 2 coveralls are done in a spruce green. Like I say, these are charcoal gray. Uh, the undershirt is a, uh, a Heather Navy, which is what was used in the, in the film. So uh, as far as colors go, this is accurate. As far as the brands go, they're not accurate. Okay. Uh, anyway, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to dirty up these coveralls, you know We're gonna have to do the burn marks from kills on this side um, We're also gonna have to really look into Halloween ends because now there's mold on there and all kinds of stuff kind of like how there's mold on the mask and uh, We're gonna be using cotton balls uh, kind of Because uh, it looks like that's what they did as far as on this mask. It's a lot of cotton to kind of give it that moldy effect. We're gonna do the same thing kind of over here. Um, I also have some toilet paper uh, and we have a whole bunch of stuff there in that spirit Halloween bag. We're gonna get into that here in just a minute. Uh, I also got the Halloween Kills knife from Trick or Treat Studios. So the mask is from Trick or Treat Studios. The knife is from Trick or Treat Studios. Uh, as far as the boots go, uh, they are not screen accurate, but they look the part. Uh, I just got some Wolverine work boots. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what the actual boots were uh, that were used in the film, 
Um, I I know what they are. I just can't think of them off the top of my head. Uh, I'll probably end up putting them in the description of this video for people that want to put together a 100% a screen accurate costume. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and dive into the Spirit Halloween bag and kind of show you guys what all I got, what we're going to be working with. You'll have to excuse me guys, it is cold today. So I'm going to do my best to try to get some of this stuff done. So I got a variety of different colors. Uh, we'll go over those here in just a minute. I got these little uh, jars here to kind of mix my paints in. Uh, a lot of the stuff uh, is found at Hobby Lobby or at Michaels, whatever y'all have in this uh, area. Got an assortment of uh, paint brushes. I got paints. Like I say, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go over these paints with you guys here in just a few minutes once we really start diving into um, getting these things all dirtied up. As you see, I have my, uh, my Hobby Lobby bag inside my Spirit Halloween bag, so don't be fooled as far as all the stuff coming from Spirit Halloween. It did not. <laughs> came from Hobby Lobby. There we go. Hobby Lobby. Uh, now, as far as my Spirit Halloween goes, uh, we got some, um, some sponges, and we have liquid latex two things of liquid latex all right so there you go this is kind of what we're working with here guys all right guys so i already started i started off with this brush here what i did was i just put some uh black paint on. i got this big piece of foam core board also at um hobby lobby i'm using it as as you can see my paint scheme here uh so i dipped the brush into just some regular black paint kind of got the black paint off the brush to where there's not a whole lot because you don't want it really really thick and you want this kind of effect here just to kind of dirty them up a little bit right like Places where a mechanic would, uh, you know, wipe his hands, you know, the pockets areas, you know, just kind of give it that dirty look, right? Just really kind of go to town. Well, I wouldn't say go to town, but you kind of get the idea. You don't want to go too much, but you just want to give it that dirty, grimy kind of look, especially for kills and um, kills and ends because in ends, he's living in a sewer for, for four years. So he's covered in mold and all kinds of stuff. So, so yeah, we're going to go through here and we're going to dirty these up a little bit and then I'll get back with you guys. All right, guys. So as much as you want to go with the black, I mean, I went dark here because that's where all the burns are we put black around the pockets put black down here around these pockets here you know just to where places you think a mechanic would wipe his hands right now for the burns what we're gonna do is I just got this sponge I have some toilet paper and we're just gonna start small let's just go like this first just put that down like that you're going to dip this into this liquid latex. And you're just going to have to, probably going to have to use two hands to do this, but. Yeah, I'm going to need two hands to do this, guys. I'll show you the end result. Okay, <clears throat> this is where we are so far. Uh, all that is mostly toilet paper, cotton balls. It's all shredded and smeared all through there. Um, we still got to kind of go down this arm here. Um, a little bit is over here now on ends. So once I get all this kind of spread out where it needs to be, then we're going to look into getting some color through here. A little bit of brown. Um, very light touch of black. And 
uh, I think that's really gonna do it. It's gonna give it that that pop to kind of uh, make it look like this. So, well, uh, we'll see. All right, here's kind of the progress of where I'm at. Um, getting it all weathered up. Kind of giving that mildew kind of look right there. All through here. We still got to do the back. The back is still clean, so. Um, I'm also going to come through, dirty up the knees. And, you know, we still have a lot to do. It's just, uh, take some time, it's slow. And then we got to dirty up the shirt on the inside. Uh, we'll just get some black to that. Uh, another thing I'm liking is this is kind of transferring back. So that kind of gives that shirt a mildewy look. So it's uh, slowly but surely coming together. Okay guys, I think I'm pretty happy with uh, the mildew uh, burning effect and all that stuff. Uh, like I say, uh, I didn't want to go too much because, you know, uh, I have some pictures that I kind of went off of that I'll post uh, to kind of show you guys. And then for the back. say I used uh, reference photos so this is apparently where all the moldy nasty spots are so yeah so now we're gonna start working on getting uh, the bullet holes the pitchfork holes through here uh, all that good stuff and then I'm probably gonna dirty up the cover off some more you know with some black wash uh, some browns you know make it look dirty you know, it's supposed to be really dirty, grungy. He's been living in a sewer for four years. So, but uh, they're starting to look really grungy to me, I think. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call this complete for today. Probably going to do some more touch-up to it. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. As you can see, we have the bullet holes with some blood stains. I'm probably going to darken those up a little bit. Um, down here where he got stabbed. See so here the detail. Gash there on the arm. So here it is in the back. It's four lungs. guys it's day two everything has had time to dry i've tried them on uh, i love the overall look of it uh, i'll post some pictures right here for you guys uh, but one thing uh, i see here is the blue shirt is really really clean there so i'm gonna dirty the back of the shirt up uh, i also want to get my fake blood out i think i'm going to uh, make some dr blood dripping kind of down on these, give it a little bit more of a uh, effect. Uh, same thing on this one over here and this one, uh, and same thing on the front. Uh, another thing I've I noticed, I watched Kills again last night uh, just to try to get some, some more reference. Uh, I had the right idea as far as how this goes, but I need this side to actually come down a little bit further, kind of about right here or so uh probably i'll probably drag it out a little bit further i'm gonna mildew this side over here up just a little bit and then we're gonna call this thing done okay guys just like before uh, i use liquid latex a sponge and some toilet paper to achieve this look okay uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to mix up some paints and we're going to make these look like this up here. All right. I'm going to try to walk you guys through it since I didn't do it in the last video. Uh, another thing uh, I'm planning on doing is uh, 
dirtying up my sleeves a little bit more. Uh, I'm not gonna go this route with it though. I'm gonna go more of uh, this route here and I'll kind of show you guys how I, how I did that as well. All right, so you get yourself a big old piece of foam core board, as you can see here. I have all these mixtures of colors. Uh, so what we're gonna really do is we're gonna go with um, a little bit of brown first. Uh, the brown that I use, let's see. Um, I use this uh, focus, there we go. Use this here. And uh, you don't want to put a lot on, okay? You just want to uh, put a little bit on, brush your brush until a lot of it comes off because you just kind of want to highlight the area, okay? So we're going we're gonna to do that first, okay? And that's kind of what you're going to be working with to start. Now we're going to move to our next color. All right, and for our next color, I'm using this here. It's an ivory white. So same thing, we're going to put this on. Uh, we're gonna put this on a little bit thicker because I, I want the white to kind of cover up the, uh, the brown, but I still want the brown to kind of pop just a little bit. Okay, and then that's kind of what you should have. Uh, might go a little bit more white. Okay, that's better. Uh, I'm going to show you what I did over here. You want to dab it, right, kind of to create that texture. I mean, you already have texture from the latex and the toilet paper, but this just adds the uh, effect. Okay, now we're gonna get some black. All right, and the black that we're using is a ivory black, okay? Um, it's, it's almost a charcoal-ish color. You don't want it black black. So let's go ahead and uh, start getting those um, burn slash mildew looks going. All right, so we kind of went back over it. Um, I dabbed the black kind of in there. Uh, so now what we're going to do, we have to wait on it to completely dry. I might get a hair dryer to it. Uh, I was working outside yesterday, so it dried really, really quick. I'm inside today because it's cold out there and I don't know, I just didn't want to be outside today. Uh, but anyway, once it dries, then we can get our brush and start to give it this effect down here. So it's just a slow process. Uh, while I'm waiting on that, to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and take this blue shirt out and I'm gonna just uh, make it dirty underneath there so that the blue doesn't pop so much, you know? And then we'll work on getting the blood kind of going on that. Well, actually I can't do that until I do this because when I do the blood, it's gonna be wet. So uh, and it's gonna have to hang to dry properly. Um, so we gotta work on this part first. But like I say, while I'm waiting on that, we're gonna go ahead and get this undershirt done really not going to show me doing that all i'm doing is just taking taking some black paint and uh you know dirtying the back of the shirt up along with the front of the shirt so that the bullet holes don't show through that well uh, so you're not seeing this bright bright blue <laughs> all right all right guys as you can see i started to already give it that textury look that's up here uh, I wanted to show you guys how I did it. First of all, I got a hair dryer. It's my wife's hair dryer, so it's purple. Uh, to make sure all this was dry because it will not do this if it's wet, okay? You need it to be dry. Uh, then we're gonna come over here. Okay, I have two different blacks here. We're gonna stay away from that. That's the dark black. This here is the black that I'm using, which is the uh, ivory. All you wanna do is just get a little bit on the brush, kind of brush it off like that. Then we're gonna come back over here and you're just gonna charred up okay just like that go over it as many times as you want uh, to give it the same effect all right guys i'm very happy at how that looks it blends in nicely um, 
One thing I want to do, like I said, is I want to add a little bit more weathering on the sleeves because I noticed in the movie that his sleeves were just a little bit weathered, not, not a whole lot. So you don't want to go overboard with it, but um, I know he had a little bit of weathering down here um, where his hands are, uh, especially this side. Uh, I did weather up this side because uh, just remember that this is the side that Lori blew his fingers off. So I put a lot of blood there. Um, as you can see, I kind of also did a little bit of mildewy kind of effect. I'm probably going to do some more. Um, but we're going to do that same thing over here. Uh, not on this sleeve, though, uh, or not down here, because um, there's no shotgun blast over here. But I do want to give it kind of this look going down a little bit more. So um, all this is, guys, is paint and latex. Uh, there's no toilet paper or nothing like that. It's just paint latex uh, so it's white paint latex and that's basically it all right guys so i moved outside because this this part does get a little messy uh what you do is you pour latex dab it with your sponge and then kind of wipe it wipe 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 it's going to get really really flaky because you want to get some of it off like right here in the middle but all this right here remains giving it that moldy look. And then we're just gonna come in with a white brush and kind of dab, 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 make it kind of stand out, kind of like that. And then I'm gonna do a little bit, same thing over here. Okay guys, that's it. I'm gonna call this one done. Uh, it's gonna have to sit out and dry like this for a while, but I added the blood dripping uh, from the bullet holes there, the stab wound there, the pitchfork wounds here. Um, same thing over here. I don't want to touch it because it's wet, but <clears throat> added a bunch of fake blood all around this one. This is the one the shotgun blew off these two fingers here. So, um, bloodied that up. Uh, touch right here. Let's see. We bloodied up the gash in the arm there. Uh, same thing along this side over here. The stab wounds uh, here. Blood dripping. Gunshot wounds up here with the blood dripping. Gunshot wound there. Blood dripping. Uh, the only other thing I'm going to do once all this stuff dries is I'm going to take the blue shirt out. And now that I marked kind of uh, the red on the shirt, I know the area in which these are. I'm going to go in and really bloody it up to where when the shirt is on underneath all this, it's just going to be bloody looking like this right here. So... Yeah, that's the only other thing I'm going to do, guys. Uh, I'm going to call it done. Uh, the blood that I'm using, um, I got it a long time ago. Uh, it's a little expensive, but it's the best stuff you can get. This stuff here. Uh, I got it when I did my Halloween 2 costume. Uh, another recommendation that they made is after you apply the blood, uh, is to spray this clear glaze on there it kind of gives it a sheen shine to it like that it makes it look all fresh and nasty um, even though you know in ends it's not really fresh uh it happened four years ago but i kind of like that look and i think once it dries you know it's gonna it's gonna look right once it once it dries but yeah i think it looks great uh, leave any comments in the comment section down below let me know what you guys think and now Halloween is two weeks away, and Michael, the shape, is going to be roaming the neighborhood. Catch you guys on the next episode.